This video demonstrates how to install Git on your Windows machines. Open up a browser and search for Git download. So uh, Git download and go to downloads Git, downloads Git and click on download to uh, 2.364 Windows. It's going to start up a download and uh, download the executable for installation. After the download is complete, run the program. And Windows uh, is going, to, it's, it's possible that it's going to give uh, nag something like this. So just uh, click on change by recommendation settings and uh, um, change this one so it's not Microsoft Store only. So it could be anywhere, but let me know if it's uh, um, uh, and warn me before installation. That's all you do, or you can do just have anywhere. But uh, it's not Windows micro, uh, uh, Microsoft Store only. This is coming from Git by itself. So I'll set it on that one and, uh, and uh, go back and do it again. So I'm going to just refresh it so it uh, downloads it again. And. So let's compile it. Let's run it again. So I'm going to say install anyway. Yes, and it's going to install it. So click on next and next again. Leave everything over here to be uh, um, as is. You don't need to change anything and keep going keep going and just click on next everything's on uh, default here uh, you have three choices so what, what happens over here is this git is essentially a command line that you can install from your um, from any command window that you have you have three choices over here one is that it opens a command prompt specifically for Git, which means you cannot run the Git command from your own regular Windows uh, um, command um, uh, window. Uh, the second one, you can run it from a uh, command window, but uh, um, it doesn't run uh, uh, all the Linux commands as Linux. If uh, this is the recommended one, it's the second one because, because it doesn't override any Windows prompts. If you are not writing any um, uh, Windows uh, scripting uh, commands in your uh, uh, command line, you can simply use the third one. I'll use that one because I'm not using it. You can leave it as the second one to be recommended. Like this one, you're, you can run all the, all the Linux commands from your a Linux regular uh, commands from uh, your uh, regular Windows command prompt. So I'm going to click on next and the rest again, leave it as is. Everything remains as uh, default. Next and keep going right to the end. There is no need for any other change. That was the only one that needed your attention and you wait for Git to, to install. After the installation is over, I'm just going to go finish and I don't want to see the release now, so I'm going to click on finish. Now if I open a command uh, prompt, so I'm going to say CMD, hit enter. If I say over here Git, I'll get the help for Git, which means Git is now installed. Thank you very much and more instructional videos to come.